Greetings. In this video, I want to discuss a minor controversy which has been unfolding in different corners of social media, and it centers on this question. What is Divine Prospects Haplogroup? Group? Now, as a disclaimer, this video is not intended disrespectfully towards Divine Prospect. But because there has been some talk about what was said and what hasn't been said, it seemed worthwhile to put together a quick repository which gathers the different clips which have been appearing over the last year. Now, before we get into that, however, let me first say that I'm going to be discussing Divine Prospect's haplogroup, so he's within his rights to ask what my haplogroup might be. So let me be clear up front and state that as per 23andMe, my haplogroup is RP311, which is a downstream subclade of RM269, which itself falls under R1B. And I fully acknowledge that if anyone wants to discuss Divine Prospect's haplogroup, he is within his rights to ask them about their own haplogroups. Now, another thing I want to say is that I'm tempted to start making bumper stickers which read, it's okay to have haplogroup R. And I, I say this because if it turned out that Divine Prospect had haplogroup R, as you might expect, I personally would not think anything negative about that. After all, I'm an R carrier myself. However, because Divine Prospect is part of the Israelite spectrum, haplogroups can become a contentious issue. And even though perhaps one in every seven African Americans has haplogroup R, it nonetheless can be a point of controversy for those who hold to a patrilineal definition of Israelite. Now, personally, I, I think it shouldn't be controversial, but because of the swirl of debates about patrilineal descent and who's authentic and who's not authentic, haplogroups have become a point of controversy. And I fear that that controversy might make some people crazy or at, at least make some people uncomfortable or inspire them to take less than four right stances. But just to be clear, if you have haplogroup R, me personally, I'm not judging you. In fact, I might say you're my cousin. But whatever the case, jumping right into the different clips, I, I first saw this come up on the Brother Garfield podcast back in July of 2022. And I'll share links to all the sources in the video description. Now, at this point, multiple people were under the impression that Divine Prospect had haplogroup R, some saying that they had heard that directly from him. Here's the clip. Hey, what's going on? What's up, Carlo? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I just wanted to just drop a bomb as well since y'all hating on the R marker. Oh, yeah. We know you Western European too, Kyle. Go ahead. Oh, no. I'm definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm straight up. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, Divine Prospect also is R, so I didn't want to throw that out yeah, there. Yeah, we know that. Hey, hey, real quick, to be fair. Hey, yeah, Kyle, but he's, he, he, he's I, I, trying I wanna... to say he's T now. I got Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he was on Clubhouse. Uh, saying he's T now. Yeah, yeah. On Clubhouse, he was in the room. Uh, we were talking about DNA. And he said he's half of group T. So, uh, now, real quick, Kyle, so we can have you on record about this. Now, yeah. did you physically see his DNA results, or did he just tell you, or did you, like, you know what I'm saying? Because he's saying that his DNA results were half of the group T. Nah, so, like, me, I didn't physically see his results. He told me out of his mouth the results. And I think he actually, uh, we had a, a group chat a while back, back when I was a Hebrew Israelite. This is where we had a lot of contention. Because he let us know in our group that what his uh, DNA marker was, it was R1, whatever it is, right? But he was trying to tra trace himself back to the people of Gabon. And that's why that's how he said that he was an Israelite. And that's how me and him kind of fell out. I'm like, bro, how the fuck is you teaching this? And everybody yeah. teaching got E1, B1, A. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I don't know if I, I can look at my uh, Facebook messages, if I still have those messages, but I never saw his DNA results in my, in my face. But I also, I got a um, okay, yeah, yo, what, what up? Did, what did they say? His your boy, what did they say? His Y marker was who's that? Your boy, uh, Ron, what did he, what did they say, or what did he say? What did you say was, about him? You say it was R1 something, but whatever the See people, what I'm saying? That, whatever the people that live in the, the Gabon people, because there's some, there's some Jews that converted that was um, in Gabon, the Gabon tribe, whatever. And he traced it, he claimed lineage from those people. That's how he was able to. You talking he, about Ron Dalton or are you talking Ron about a different Shields. Ron? Yeah, Ron Shields. Oh, Ron Shields. Shields. Okay, my bad, my bad, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't so, know if he was still, yeah, I, I thought y'all, okay. So you saying that uh, Devon Prospect basically said he was R because he's on Clubhouse now saying he's half the group T. So, I, I don't know about that, bro, because like we had a whole group about this, like a group discussion. And we were like, that's why. Yeah, we, I, I got a screenshot. Now, real quick, I got a screenshot of Devon literally saying he's half the group t now you know what i'm saying like i showed uh i showed uh 93. i mean you might have it. it bro <laughs> i don't i'm just saying he could be he could be lying i'm just saying like he could be lying about t but i'm just you know that's what i was asking 
And just to supplement that, Faithful to God recently discussed this on Clubhouse. And here's a brief clip in that regard. So Divine Prospect claimed to Kyle, who was formerly associated with Kingdom Harbinger Ministries, he told Kyle that he was R1B. All right. He's not the only one that said this. I'm going to put him his name out there because he gave me permission. Ngozi verified that Divine Prospect was R1B because he shared it in a live stream. Uh, Ngozi said that he was a part of a live stream in the chat. Uh, Divine Prospect was trying to cast dispersions on DNA. And he said in the live stream that he was R1B. So two people independent of each other are saying that Divine Prospect said that he was R1B, right? Paternally. Are, are you gentlemen at all aware, because since you guys run in Hebrews Light Circles, are, are you guys aware of Divine having said in the past that he was R1B? Yeah, for me, it's here. I heard it from Ngozi, but yeah, it's hearsay for me. Yeah, so exactly. So you guys heard it essentially from the same person that I heard it from. Now, in those clips, you heard the Hebrew of Israel described such as hearsay because it was coming in secondhand. And with that in mind, on your screen is a screenshot from a live chat on Clubhouse, which took place on July 3rd, 2022. And as you see here, Divine Prospect wrote, quote, on my mom's side, I have Sephardim T haplogroup markers, end quote. Now, admittedly, he was saying this is apparently on his maternal side, and he said on his mom's side. Uh, in a subsequent comment, he reiterated that he had haplogroup T, and then shortly thereafter, he repeated that statement again. And then he shared this link to an article which he felt supported his claim to Sephardic ancestry. And uh, it was a 2012 article in the European Journal of Human Genetics titled Sephardic Signature and Haplogroup T Mitochondrial DNA. And note that the reference is to mitochondrial DNA, so this is referring to a maternal haplogroup. In short, Divine Prospect was claiming to have haplogroup T on his maternal side. Now, fast forward to December of 2022, Faithful to God found himself in the same clubhouse room as Divine Prospect, and as Faithful wanted some clarity regarding Divine Prospect's haplogroup claims, he decided to ask him directly. Unfortunately, replays were apparently not on for that discussion, but appreciating the significance of the exchange, a screen recording was taken while the discussion was going on live. And as you see at the top, Faithful wrote the following to Divine Prospect, quote, I recall you mentioning that you were haplogroup T in a room with Jewish folks, but a former member of Kingdom Harbinger Ministries, Chayel, said you were one of the R's. Could you clarify for me what paternal haplogroup you are? End quote. And note that the question was about his paternal haplogroup. Then they have a bit of back and forth about Chayel, and then Faithful attempts to ask again, quote, are you haplogroup T paternally? End quote. Divine Prospect responded, yes. I have some haplogroup T markers, but it's not dominant, end quote. A bit incredulous at that answer, Faithful writes back, quote, wait, so you have some haplogroup T markers, plural? I'm asking about the Y chromosome, which is singular, end quote. And then Faithful asks, quote, so is your paternal marker singular T and not R, end quote. Divine Prospect responded, quote, I meant marker singular. As you can see, I'm typing fast, since I cannot speak on stage at the moment, end quote. Then he added, quote, I took a DNA test back in 2012, end quote. So he took a DNA test and apparently his paternal haplogroup was T. That's the implication that I'm getting from that discussion. Okay, with that, we can now come to the final clip in this brief video, which is from a discussion on Clubhouse just last month. As you listen to this clip, note that Divine Prospect claims his haplogroup, his paternal haplogroup is E1B1B. And note that he gives the impression that he doesn't know his maternal haplogroup, and he also seems to give the impression that he may not have taken a DNA test, as he apparently has to rely on his parents' results to know what his haplogroups are. Here's the clip. You can see these markers going back further than that period in the 16th century, correct? You would agree. We can do that, right? With the DNA so the question is so the question is the markers would have to go back further than that. Hold on, hold on, right? hold on, hold on, hold on, divine. Somebody was trying to come in and say something. Yeah, I think it was nine. Said, he said, "What are those the, markers?" Those markers? Autosomal DNA may go back to even farther. DNA. Correct. You talking about crop? I'm talking about paternal you talking and about maternal. Direct paternal lineage. Why DNA? Go back. And yeah. and the mitochondria DNA, right? Right. So empty DNA on the mother's side through my grandmother, and paternal Y DNA through my grand and uncle what are those? through his side. What are those? What are yours? I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta ask my mother for it. It's been some time since I looked at it, but we can have a discussion about it. And I can what about show your paternal? It to you and we can have the conversation. Paternal. On my father's side. 
Yes. My father's side? Because we talking about my we talking about my mother's side. The, club, the clubhouse. I'm just asking says, what, uh, from what, from your father's side. What about your father's side? Side has a mixture of uh, Nigerian from the DNA. The markers. The markers. The markers. Oh, the markers. Uh, oh, E one B one E one B one B. Oh, you E one E one B one B. Yeah, from the East bad? Africa. Oh, no, damn. On my dad, on my dad's side, he had some of that oh, from okay. East Africa. So you did a twenty three and me. Uh, he did it. I don't know. I gotta ask him. He oh, just okay, sent the data okay. to me. Yeah, and then the data right, cool. is. Just so, having seen that, I'd like to give this basic summary of the clips and the as well as the screenshots which we've seen here. First, prior to July of 2022, multiple people were saying that Divine Prospect told them his paternal haplogroup fell under R. Second, in July of 2022, Divine Prospect insinuated that his maternal haplogroup was T. Third, in December of 2022, Divine Prospect said his paternal haplogroup was T. Or at least he gave the impression that his paternal haplogroup was T. Fourth, in July of 2023, Divine Prospect said that his paternal haplogroup was E1B1B. He insinuated that he did not know his maternal haplogroup, and he gave the impression that he might not have taken a DNA test as he had to rely on his parents' results. At the very least, this can leave one feeling confused. Now, it's my hope that Divine Prospect might clarify what the actual fact of the matter is, but of course, if he prefers to not discuss such things, that's his right. As I said at the outset, this video was not intended to cast dispersions on Divine Prospect, but as different folks were discussing this, it seemed prudent and worthwhile to bring together the different elements in this discussion, which have sort of been scattered over, you know, across multiple platforms over the, the course of a year or more. But on that note, I'll close the short video here. As always, I look forward to any questions, comments, or criticisms uh, that anyone might have. So feel free to share your thoughts, whether positive or negative, because I don't censor anyone here. And uh, God bless.